what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of how to train your dragon with me little lizard and I am back and guys I've been doing a bit of work now we did send the scholar off a few days ago to get some ancient dragon medicine uh, I don't know you need to get the info on it to try and figure out how to cure the bewilder beast I mean, it's going to be a tough job, but I think he arrives back today, which is pretty good, so we can go and check in with him. But before we do, guys, I had a cool little thing that I, I had a little idea. I wanted to see if you guys thought it was cool. So check it out. I've got a lot of armors lined up right here, and I was thinking that every time I take out a dragon, I should wear a specific armor for them. Now, Obviously, we've got a lot of different colors here, and check this last one out. This last one is the one I'm confused about. I don't know if it's a good idea, bad idea. You guys need to let me know in the comments. So I'm going to put it on. It's Cave Scorpion Armor. It doesn't really matter what it's called, but check it out. It is all black with blue particles coming off it, and I thought that would look so cool on Shadow Fury. So I kind of want to make it look like I'm an epic dragon trainer, because check it out. Does that not look cool? I mean, imagine seeing me fly. It, it kind of looks a bit evil is my only worry. Does it look too evil? Ah, oh, maybe. No, I could also look just pretty epic. Do you know that? So, maybe I can uh, I can get away with it. But guys, leave a thumbs up if you think I should wear each particular armor when I take out the different dragons. Because I think it would be pretty cool and it just adds a little bit of something to, um, to flying around with them. And, you know what? It, it might make me kind of swap up dragons more depending on what I want to wear. Because I want to make sure I give them all um, enough time out of the, the nation. So we've got the black and blue right there. What, what does this actually give us? Night vision. Ooh. We've got black and blue for obviously the Aztec Night Fury, Shadow Fury. We've got the blue right here, which I'm going to try on. I'm not going to try all them on. You guys have seen quite a lot. But I'm going to try on the blue because we haven't really worn that. Check it out. It looks pretty cool. And I'm thinking Deadly Natter, of course, for the blue. It just looks so good. I think it makes us look like a scarier dragon trainer than we are. It makes us look like we really know what we're doing. Uh, we've got the red, which is kind of like the Fire Nation armor, which I, I was unsure of at the start. But you know what? The armor doesn't define the person. So the Fire Nation are evil. Doesn't mean the armor is evil. So I'm going to try it on. Oh, hold on. Let's get out of that. Try it on right there. And boom. We've got the red armor for the monstrous nightmare. And then, of course, we've got green for the zip up back. We've got the white for the bone napper. And, oh, that actually looks really good, doesn't it? That looks cool. I look pretty scary. And then, of course, we've got the, the kind of golden brownie color for the gronkle. So, let me know, guys. Thumbs up if you think I should keep swapping up the armors. I could even rename the armors to their specific um, dragon, which I thought was pretty cool. And just adds a little something to our dragon training. But guys, let's go find out and see if the scholar is back. He should hopefully have info. That Purby Wilderbeast is still just sitting around there in the new pen we made. Very injured, guys. And we want to try and help him. So the scholar's home. Hey, Mr. Scholar. Did you manage to find any information on the ancient dragon medicine? Ah, little lizard. It's been a long time. It has been. I've been flying for three days straight and I'm very tired. On my visit to the Sky Nation, I stumbled across these ancient scrolls. The information I got from them is like nothing I have ever seen before. It tells of the legend of the ancient dragon medicine. I thought it was a myth until I found the scrolls. Okay, well, what does that mean? Um, there's a ritual that you can put to the test, little lizard. You need earth, water, and dragon fire. When all of these elements come together, little lizard, you will be able to restore life in a wilderbeast. <gasps> come back to me in a few hours and I will tell you more. Okay, keep studying the scrolls, Mr. Scholar. That sounds promising. That's the first sign of anything to do with a bewilderbeast when it comes to dragon medicine. I mean, it's not too hard to look after these guys. It's kind of like normal remedies and stuff like that, but a bewilderbeast is a whole different ballgame. So, let's actually grab our white armor and we're going to go get the bone napper out. We haven't had the bone napper out in a little while. We can go see what it looks like as well. So we have to come back to the scholar pretty soon and check in on him. We might not go too far going on too many adventures just in case he kind of like he gets to the bottom of it pretty quick because our main focus guys today is definitely 
helping out the bewilder beast now we do have the void bewilder beast there as well but he's pretty healthy and he's pretty scary and dangerous look at that that just looks cool i like it i think this ar armor thing is is a really good idea and i think it's gonna it's gonna just make us look really cool i'm gonna bring the bone napper down here i'm not sure if i have i ever even put the bone napper in this pen i don't think so i don't think i have but um yeah it's getting it's getting crowded guys i hope you guys don't mind sharing your space Look at it, it's so amazing. Of course, we've got our little night terrors over here. Our little poopy dogs. You guys are like the little poopy dogs. Look, they just follow me around. They're so cute. Hello, poopy dogs. All right, now, now, okay, come on. You guys make so much noise as well. All right, down, down, down. Good boys, good boys. Okay, all right, guys, so we have passed a bit of time doing some chores around the nation, and I believe the scholar is now ready for me. Uh, he has to meet me up on the kind of dragon podium area which I thought was pretty strange but maybe he's just trying to be a bit secretive about it it is ancient dragon medicine maybe I don't know maybe there's secrets involved that we need to just keep so he's yeah yeah he's up here all right um come on down bone napper uh, we're gonna take the bone napper out today I think uh, we like we said we're gonna swap it up a lot but the bone napper I feel hasn't gotten out as much because he does live in a different pen and sometimes you just automatically go for the same pen all the time for the dragons so this big guy is coming out with me today. Now, back to business. Mr. Scholar, what have you got for me? First thing you will need to master this ancient medicine is a dragon tablet. They haven't been seen for centuries, but after studying these scrolls, I have an idea of where one might be. You will need to travel deep into the jungle to the lost city of Medina. From what I've read, there could be one hidden in that area. Legend foregoes that you must follow the river of hope to find the ancient temple. It cannot be seen from the air, so you must leave your dragon at the start of the river. Be careful, little lizard. Untold beasts lurk deep within that jungle. Ooh, all right. Um, this is my kind of adventure. I mean, a forgotten ancient temple area, Medina, follow a river, lots of beasts. Do you know what? I think I was born for this, right? What, what, what's going on, Mr. Bone Napper? Why, why are you being so stubborn? Let, let me up. Let, let, let me up. Here we go. Okay, so we need to try and head towards this area. Um, all right, well, I mean, it should be a, a pretty fun adventure. Hopefully, we get this stone tablet at the end and we manage to heal the big bewilder beast. So, Mr. Bone Napper, let's go on our very first adventure. All right, big fella, you heard the scholar. We have made it here, but unfortunately we can't find it by the air. So you're gonna have to wait right here, okay? And I will be back as soon as possible. Enjoy the bit of fresh air. Hunt yourself some, I don't know, rabbits or something. Whatever you like to do, go do. But just make sure you're here when I get back. And guys, it is time for me to head down here. There is a little boat that I just prepared. So, because I know there is a big long river. The River of Hope supposedly it's called so I hope that we do find the cure that we're looking for all right uh, we gotta watch where we're going here <laughs> excuse me sorry coming true and coming true sorry <laughs> gotta watch out for all the wildlife around here there's so many all right uh, ooh. our boat handling skills are not the best all right what do we got here this is an icy area hmm are we going the right way maybe can we skip through it Maybe we need to jump out here. It looks like part of this river has all been iced over. We might have to run down now. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking for. That's the biggest issue, guys. We gotta be very careful. What's this? Doesn't look like too much. Let's just keep following the pa the um, the river, guys. It seems like it's the river of hope. Let's just get to the end of it and see what we find. It is proper iced over everywhere, though, isn't it? That's crazy. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got a big cave area. I wonder if... You see, it's an ancient stone tablet, so I'm guessing it's going to be hidden underground or in some sort of temple or something crazy. We are looking for a lost city, Medina. So, this looks promising. I mean, nothing ever bad came from entering a really dark, scary cave, did it? Oh, maybe. Spoke too soon. Oh, I did not see you there. Where did you even come from? Oh, these guys are, like, weird. They've got weird eyes. They're not just normal skeletons. Did he poison me? Oh, there's another one. Okay. These guys are stronger than regular skeletons. Okay. Whew. 
Oh! Was I getting a little bit nauseous there? Okay, be careful. These guys aren't too bad. We can definitely take them out. There we go. Do I, ooh, is that water a normal color? I'm so confused. Is this... What is this place? Maybe we're really on the right track here. I'm hoping that the lost city is down this way. I mean, the scholar usually gets his information pretty accurate, guys. He does a lot of research before he um, before he comes to me and tells me what what to do. All right, we've got a lot more of these skeletons around, so we probably should try to take them out real quick. Three hits should do the job. But yeah, I am getting a little bit nauseous. They're trying to make me all dizzy. I can feel it. Okay, he's gone. This place is huge. It's actually pretty cool. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, oh, that actually makes the place so much darker. Maybe we should leave the fires. What are you throwing at me? Okay, they're not even, they're not shooting bow and arrow like a regular skeleton. They're throwing some sort of magic or maybe just throwing stones and they're making me all dizzy. Okay, I think we're, we're getting to the end of them. Hopefully they're guarding something. Excuse me, sorry, coming through. Got a sick dragon, need to take care of. Sorry, Ooh, thank you very much. Okay, that looks like all the skeletons have been taken care of. Um, Wait, no, there's one back, back there. Should I get him? I'll get him. I don't want to leave him here alone. Just in case I'm coming back out this way and I get a surprise attack. And there we go. Alright, I walked into the fire, didn't I? Yeah, I got confused between the flames on the skeleton and the flames on the ground. But it's okay. Let's keep pushing on forwards and see what we can do. What is this? Hmm. Oh, we've got a door. Ooh. Where does that lead us to? Okay, it's hard to see. It looks like there's a pathway out there. Uh, nothing down over here. Oh, this is one of those uh, floor puzzle trap things. Oh, okay. That makes sense because... The, this is how people used to protect their stuff back in the ancient days when they didn't have like key cards and key access. This was um, this was a common way to confuse people hunting your treasure. Okay, so let's see what we got to do here. It looks like we're going to have to move a block up to activate the redstone signal. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so let's use the pressure blades. Perfect, we're moving it, we're moving it. Yeah, we need to go in here. Is that right? Pull it that way. Can we push it? Um, we need to pull it. And push it. And I think we need to pull it over here. I think we're getting somewhere, guys. Push it in there. I think we want this one. And this one. Alright, nice. I think we can push it out now. And then pull it in. Ooh. Alright, so again, just a push and pull. We might have this, guys. And... This better be it. All right, if this doesn't work, then we've made a big mistake. Let's see. Hey, look at that, guys. We did it. We managed to get the, defeat the puzzle. That was pretty quick. We're getting better at those things. Okay, so let's see. We've come out the back entrance of this cave. There is an old pathway here through the jungle. I can see why nobody would ever find this, because it's just such a big, dense jungle, and it's such a rickety little path. I mean, it's tiny. Okay, now it's getting a bit bigger. Where are we going? I don't see anything. That's the difference. I mean, it is meant to be some sort of ancient town, temple here. I don't see it. Maybe I'm just blind. Do we go underneath? I feel like I'm going underneath the path. Wow, this is pretty cool. Whoa! How, how did that just happen? Look at it, guys. It's huge. I thought, I was literally just saying, I can't see anything. If I had to come over the top, I probably would have, yeah, you definitely, okay, you can see it coming over the top, but look how cool it is. Oh, there's guards there. Um, hmm, okay, maybe we should just approach them and explain what we're here for. I don't want to try to be, like, deceitful, and I don't want them thinking I'm trying to steal from them, because they probably have a lot of traps around. So what I might do is just approach them, let them know what's going on, and hopefully... They're reasonable, and let me just have a little look around. So let's see. Uh, excuse me. Uh, hey, soldier people. Oh, you guys look pretty cool. Hey, listen. I'm here because I have a very sick dragon, and I've heard about a ceremony that can make it better. But I need a stone tablet, an ancient dragon stone tablet. 
And I just wanted to know if I could just have a little look around and s see if I can um, find it here, maybe, please. Let's see. Strange man must talk to chief. Chief will decide what become of strange man. Go now. Oh, okay. Chief. Um, is the chief true here? You guys, you guys are staring. Okay, sorry. No, listen. No trouble here. I'll go. Where's the chief? Is that the chief over there? Um, I think maybe it is. Excuse me. Are you the chief? I don't think it. Maybe it's not the chief. Look. Maybe these are just warriors. Okay. Let's just keep on going. The chief, I'm guessing, is probably in a big temple area. I don't know, if I was the chief, I'd be sitting up somewhere nice on a throne. Okay, this place looks pretty big. Hello? Hello? I don't know if there's anyone in here, guys. Whoa! Guys, somebody just shouted! I suppose I'm not meant to enter there until I speak to the chief. Oh, there's a staircase around the side. Okay. Is that going to lead me anywhere? It's going up. You see, this is the kind of thing I was talking about. If I was a chief, I'd be standing here being like... Rawr, I'm the chief. Do as I say. Oh, oh, oh look, there he is. <laughs> oh, what are the chances? Uh, sorry, I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to be you. That that was just me being silly. D don't mind that. It, it was. It was nothing. It was nothing. I promise. Uh, hi, Mr. Chief. Listen, I'm looking for a dragonstone tablet. I've got a really sick dragon, and I just really wanted to know if I could just have a little look around. Just a little peek around. I promise not to set off any ancient traps or kind of like desecrate your land or do anything crazy. I just want to have a look around. Silence, strange man. Mwegwe, no you come for dragon tablet. Many strange man come for dragon tablet before you. Many strange man not leave. Oh, I don't like that. If you find magic stick and find dragon tablet, Mwegwe let you leave with it. Uh, okay, so a magic stick and a dragon tablet. Uh, so I'm allowed to look for it. Yeah, it seems seems like I'm, I'm good to go, guys. All right, thank you, Mum Wagon Way Way. Oh, I got it. no idea how to pronounce that guy's name. But okay, he's the chief. He given me permission, so I shouldn't have any trouble with these natives around here. And I think it's time to go and find my dragon tablet, guys. I have to do it for the sake of the Bewilderbeast. We have to find it. Let's go. Hello, hello, um, guys. This doesn't feel like a temple. I mean. There's nowhere to go. It's just, it's just one big square. Was this guy messing with me, or am I? Oh, guys, check the map. I'm only in that little entryway at the front. I'm guessing he meant the temple behind. Okay, this might be tougher to find than I thought. Look at the size of it, and that makes way more sense. What is that? What is that? Th that's a monstrous nightmare, guys. Look. A white monstrous nightmare, that is so cool, it must be here with these guys. Oh, I'm so jealous, that isn't the coolest dragons I've ever seen. Look at him, he looks so elegant. Oh, he's pretty scary, he'd go so well with my white armor, look. Oh, it would look so good sitting on you. Uh, I suppose we're not here for that though. I do want to go see the new dragon, but... Ah, <sighs> okay, we're here to find the dragon stone tablet and the magic stick. I mean, what's a magic? Oh, why are you looking at me, Mr. Chief? What's the magic stick? No, nothing. Okay, magic stick we need to find as well, guys. Uh, hello? What's in here? Is that the magic stick? Oh, wait, that looks like a piston, is it? What's this? <gasps> Oh, is that the magic stick? It just opens and closes the door. Hmm, alright, let me have a quick look up here just to cover all grounds. Oh, hello. Um, excuse me, I'm just looking around for this dragonstone tablet. Doesn't look like it's up here, guys. I think our best bet is to go in there. I mean, that guy's so cool. I love him so much. Alright, um, yeah, okay, that's, that's definitely the magic stick. Let's go in, see what we can find. Hopefully, that's a bone napper. Um, that is a huge bone napper. Excuse me, hey Mr. Bone Napper. I've got my friend just like you outside. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna have a little look around. I'm looking for a dragon stone tablet. Oh, hello, hey big guy, you come say, ow, 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 why is he attacking me? No, bone bone napper, oh, no, I fell down. 
Bold bone napper, what are you doing? All right, quick guys, we need to get some blocks to get back up there. What? Okay, maybe he's there to defend it? Oh, but I don't want to have to fight the bone napper. Am I going to have to fight him? Hmm, maybe it's a challenge. Okay, I've got some blocks now. Maybe it is a bit of a challenge. All right, I need to, I need to try and get up here. Excuse me. I'm going to jump that. Uh, can we make it the whole way up? Alright, Mr. Bone Napper, I prefer you didn't do that again, please. Alright, we're up. Ooh, we gotta be very careful with this guy. Bone Napper, please stay. Oh, there's big piles of gold everywhere. Please stay back, Mr. Bone Napper. I'm just... No, no, okay. I think we have to fight him. I think we have to fight him, guys. Come here. Ow, why do you keep attacking me? Ooh, he's super strong. Oh, he's big. He is the biggest Bone Napper ever. I gotta get him. Whoa. Come here. I'm, ow! Why is he getting so many hits on me? Don't knock me down again. Have we got him caught? I think we've got him caught in the corner. We gotta try to take him out here. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Oops. All right. Quick. Let's get some get some blocks before he heals up. This is definitely some sort of challenge, guys. I can feel it. Defeat the Bone Napper. And we might be able to find what we're looking for. Let's go. Come on. We, can we make it all the way? No, no. Bone napper. No! What are you doing? Oh, that's a smart move. He keeps knocking me down below. Okay, maybe I did promise I wouldn't kind of like ruin his land. I'm kind of doing a lot of mining here. Hopefully he doesn't mind. No, don't, 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 don't. Push me down again. All right, let's quickly do this. I don't think he can fit in here. That's the problem with being too big, Mr. Bone Napper. All right, let's push, push him back out. We need to try and find this tablet. Bone Napper, we're here for a bewilder beast. Oh, he's gone. Okay, perfect. Whew. Challenge complete. All right, let's go in and let's see what we can do here. Um, looks like this area has a lot of gold. Ooh. What are, are, oh, look at all of this. Jewelry everywhere. This is so cool. Whoa! Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't see you. Uh, uh, hello, uh, guys. That's a ghost. That's only half a person. It doesn't seem to be aggressive. Though. Oh, look, dragon armor. Uh, maybe we should try talk to it. Maybe he knows where the tablet is. Don't be scared, young warrior. I mean you no harm. I am here to thank you for putting my loyal beast out of his misery. He has stayed here guarding the dragon tablet as I vowed to until my untimely death. But now you have released him from his prison so he can finally rest in peace. Only a true dragon trainer could do such a thing. Continue on your quest, young dragon master. Ooh, oh, that is amazing. Oh, okay, so I don't feel bad at all. That's so good. I'm glad your dragon can be at peace with you now. And I'm glad I was able to help. I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to be very happy now. But I think, I think I'm actually looking for this right here. Is this what I'm looking for, guys? It looks like the Everstone, doesn't it? Ancient dragon, ta dragon tablet. This is it. Yes. Okay, we've got the dragon tablet. We need to get back now. Ooh. Okay. Now that we have the tablet, let's get back to the scholar. Let him know what we found. I'm actually happy that we helped release. The bone napper from his prison and he can rest in peace with its master. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's get back and talk to um let's go talk to the is this the chief up here? Have you moved? You are a true dragon trainer. I, I don't even want to try it. Not think strange man can defeat mighty dragon, but you prove Mawengwe wrong. Mawengwe lets you keep dragon tablet, but only if you take Mawengwe's mighty white dragon and train him! As Mawang may trust you to treat him well. <gasps> yes, yes, please, definitely. The white monstrous nightmare, guys. Oh, Mawang Wei, I will look after this guy so well. Don't you worry. He's going to be so happy at home in our nation with all the other dragons. I'm sure he's been alone for quite a while. It looks like there's no other dragons around here. Excuse me, Mr. Monstrous Nightmare. Oh, guys, check him out. He is so cool. A white monstrous nightmare. We need to get more information on this guy. That is amazing. Um, okay, so do you want some fish? Yes, you do. Alright, 
So we need to try and get two dragons home again. Oh, the joys of it. But it is going to be worth it, guys, to get this beautiful dragon back home with us to the Elemental Nation. And, of course, we need to get back and hopefully heal up the Bewilder Beast. Let's go. Oh, guys, check us out. We are flying the White Monstrous Nightmare. It is so epic. And look how cool the armor looks. I definitely think... We should use this white armor with the monstrous nightmare as well as the bone napper. It is pretty epic. But guys, back to business. We need to get down and talk to the scholar. Oh wait, Mr. Scholar. Okay, um, Mr. Scholar. No, he's not over here. He must mo moved on through the village somewhere. We can go check him out. But guys, leave a big thumbs up if you think we should keep the monstrous nightmare. The only worry I have is that we're getting a little bit crowded here. Uh, we've got the two big bewilder beasts. We've got all the dragons down below. Another mouth to feed is going to be difficult. So guys, show your support if you guys want to keep the monstrous nightmare here. Uh, I think it's a good idea, but of course we make all these decisions together, guys. So leave a big thumbs up and hashtag monstrous nightmare in the comments if we should keep this beautiful white one as well uh, it would be pretty cool for the monstrous the other guys down there to have a new pal as well so let's go find the scholar uh, let's see is he back by his he's not back by his tree either maybe he's maybe he's around trying to get information in the libraries or off other people mr. scholar mr. scholar where is he gone oh, oh wait there he is there he is okay I am um, mr. monstrous nightmare I need you to land somewhere. This isn't a very good place for us. Hmm. Okay, let me let's let's just land in here. There's not a lot of space for you. I know. I'm sorry. This is a very very treetop hill. Um. But if you can just chill here. Yes. Perfect. Look how cool you are. Okay. Let's go talk to the scholar. Let him know that we've got the ancient dragon tablet. Where is he gone? Um, okay. I thought I lost him. Mr. Scholar, look. I got it. I got the tablet. Little Lizard, this is fantastic. The last piece you need to find is the Red Dragon Scales. Commander Cody has informed me that a group of Red Dragons have nested at the peak of Mount Char for the migration. Go there, they are sure to have shed some scales. But be careful, Little Lizard. It can get quite hot up there. Ooh, okay. So, we need to get some Red Dragon Scales. I mean, that's pretty straightforward compared to getting an Ancient Dragon Tablet. I mean, that sounds pretty easy. We need to go to Mount Char, which isn't too far away. So, uh, I suppose let's just go and do it. We're looking for red dragon scales. I think Mount Char is pretty much out in this direction here. And red dragon scales should be easy. I mean, guys, let's think about it. When we see, when we see dragon nests around, they usually are red dragons. I mean... Red dragons are fire dragons, there's also the gold, the emerald, they're all fire dragons as well. But I definitely think we've seen more red than we do anything else. So I think we need to go maybe straight this way? Yeah, pretty much straight out this way is where we are going to find Mount Char. Maybe a little bit this way? No, a little bit this way. There we go. Okay, because I do remember the coordinates. And we just need to... Okay, that's the big fire cabin area. I think we definitely go past that for this. Um, oh, there's a red dragon. Hey, we're, we're better off getting to the nest, guys. It's only just up here. Okay, another maybe 200, 200 blocks. And this is it. This is Mount Chair. Okay, so... Ooh, that dragon down there is causing problems. What are you doing? You're stuck. Normally, they just run right through the land. Why is he stuck? That's strange. Okay, let's... um. Let's have a look. There's a big... This is a big dragon's nest. Look at it, guys. They weren't messing. This is insane looking. Right, what's our best bet here? Do we land inside? I suppose we could try it. But I want to be careful with the monstrous nightmare as well. I don't want to, like, scare any of the red dragons into attacking our monstrous nightmare. So if you want to hold up the edge here, um, Mr. I, I need a good name for this guy. Oh, where'd he go? Did he fall off? Oh no, okay, we gotta go get him in a minute. Sometimes that happens when you jump off them after you're flying for too long. But let's go in and let's see if we can grab some of these scales. Uh, please don't attack me, little dragons. You guys are so cute. 
is he coming for me? Or is he just wandering? I think, hopefully he's just wandering. I don't want to, definitely don't want to fight. Oh yes, they are, they're being peaceful. They're shedding dragon scales. Okay, I've got 10 so far. Let's just grab as many as we can see. Um, there's a few more, there's another eight. This place is epic. Such a cool area for red dragons. I wonder if each type of dragon goes into like nests this big. I've never seen anything like it before. Is that more over there? It is. Okay, perfect. We're getting a lot of these scales. Let's go down a bit further. Looks like there's a few bigger dragons down here. I'm guessing they would have bigger sets of scales or shed a bit more. Yeah, check it out. We've got lots, guys. 62 already. This is pretty easy. I told you guys, this would be way easier than trying to um, trying to get the Dragonstone tablet. Which had a little bit to it, but... Do you think we have enough 62... I'd say we do. Oh, I thought it was a, I thought that was a lava pit there. My heart jumped a little bit. I would say that 62 is going to be plenty. So let's see if we can make our way back up here. And yeah, let's ooh, Can we get up? Can we get up? I think we can. All right, let's go around this way. Okay, so let's go back down there. Grab our monstrous nightmare. Oh, there's some more. And what we'll do is we will head back to the scholar. Let him know we have the scales. And hopefully we can begin the ceremony to heal the Bewilderbeast. Thank you so much for your help, Carla. Okay, guys. So I needed to change the dragon scales into a dragon scale dust. And I needed Carla's help for that. So I got it here. Check it out. Dragon scale dust. Quite a lot of it. Now, finally, all we have to do is go and hopefully perform this ritual. Now, it's going to take quite a bit. I was going through it with the scholar. It should be pretty interesting, but I have an idea of where we need to do it. We need to do it in a secluded area, so we've got this small island just outside the, the nation, guys, that we have set up and ready to perform. Now, if this doesn't work, guys, I don't know what will. The Bewilderbeast really needs us here, but we need to try and somehow get it around to this area that we can perform it. Now, let's go and have a quick look and see. Oh, the poor big guy. Let's see. Are you awake? No, still passed out. Okay, guys, I'm afraid we have to try and move the Bewilderbees. It's not going to be easy, but we've done it before. Big guy, we're not trying to hurt you. We're trying to heal you. We need to get you in position for the ceremony. So please just go with it and we'll get you there safe and sound. I promise. All right, guys, next up, we have to try and wake all of the dragons. We're going to need all of the dragons together. In order to do this, we need the power of the dragons to heal the Bewilderbees. So guys, I'm sorry to wake you from your slumber, but we need everybody on the island with us in order to heal this guy. So let's get them up, guys, one by one, and let's get them to the island. Okay, guys, so it is almost ready. Check this place out. We've got this little abandoned island right here. We've got the stone circle set up. As said in the ancient scrolls, we've got the dragon fire lighting all of the poles. The dragons are all in position. Now all we need to do are put, is put the finishing touches on it, which is this right here. We've got the dragon scale dust. We need to link the dragons together with the dragon scale dust. Oh, they're going a bit crazy. I understand, guys. It's normally sleep time, but I'm pretty sure they know what's going on right now. So let me just get rid of that. Let's link these dragons together. This is the only way, supposedly, to heal a bewilder beast like this. So that's kind of crazy. And if it works, guys, we will have accomplished something that has not been done in centuries, which is amazing. So let's link all of these dragons up. We're going to use the power of the dragons to heal this bewilder beast. So let's pull it in like that. Okay, is that? We've got wood, two, three four five six dragons all linked together that's I think that's all we need and then of course we have to link this over here this is where the dragon stone tablet needs to go so let's pull it in and there we go oh I think this is it guys we've got the semicircle of dragons we have the bewilder beast injured in the middle and finally all we need to do now is place the ancient dragon tablet in here and the scrolls say this will begin the ceremony of healing so hopefully it works let's find out guys here we go
guys, it worked! It actually worked! I can't believe it! Look how cool it is! Oh, Mr. Bewilderbees, I hope you're feeling a lot better. Uh, oh, guys, you did such a good job. Thank you all so much for helping. This poor Bewilderbees was so injured and you guys brought it back to life. Look how healthy it is! Okay, Mr. Bewilderbees, so you do get your choice. You can come with us home or you can go back to wherever you were from. I know you're probably missed. Um, I'm sure I'm sure you lived somewhere and had people who took care of you or you took care of dragons. I don't know, but you're very welcome to come with us or to go off on your own journey as well. But guys, we managed to heal the Bewilderbees. That is an amazing amazing feeling just being able to help out guys i hope you did enjoy today's episode of how to train your dragon big thumbs up if you enjoyed and we will see you soon for more bye guys